Let's go. So hungry. Yep. Once again, it's on. Brown tizzy. Hey. video that we did you guys really showed us a lot of love so yeah we're back again and uh everybody i would like you to bow your heads god thank you for this food we're about to receive i pray that it nurses our body in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. let's go you for us today, okay oh. and i also picked up something from hearts chicken you know how much you love hearts chicken right <laughs> so i made the dirty rice I bought some, uh, you know, some good old crispy fried fish from Hearts Chicken. Mm -hmm. And we, I also made the chicken here, just regular fried wings, you know, a little bit of Cajun seasoning, and some uh, green beans and a yeast roll. Awesome. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> then, yeah. These yeast rolls from um, Hearts also. Don't so. Also, um... We had some sauce left over from our mukbang. Make sure that you go and see that video. And wings. Hey, I'm yeah, waiting on. Wait, 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 wait. You messing up my sauce this time. Last video, you was hating on my sauce. I mean, it's because, like I said, I was keeping it OG. But now I ain't got no reason to keep it OG. Excuse me. Oh, you're going to take mine. I'm going to let y'all go ahead and grab what y'all need to grab. I'm going to. Alright, I'm open this up real quick. I've been eating. I love hard. I always love hard. Like in my my opinion, hearts got some bomb fish. Yeah. I like the biscuits. Oh, yeah, and I also good. like yeah, I like that fish a lot too. Don't be, don't These wings right now. here were made. Oh, I'm going on. Like I said last video, it's always the meals after you come like from practice or a workout. Cause right now I'm starving. I had just came from workout. Hey, and right now, green bean, bro. I'm just I'm just starving. Bang bang. Them green. Ooh. Mm. Don't. Don't hit, don't, don't y'all dip, <laughs> don't y'all dip, dip y'all fried chicken in that sauce, in that sauce and not out. say, ooh, 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 baby. ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Why do you, um, do you watch mukbangs, like, when you're hungry, or do you, like, yeah, I watch food all the time, and, say what, it'll get you hungry, definitely, if you, if you're watching this and you're hungry, Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> you got crispy fish. You happen to stumble up on this on YouTube and, and you happen to be hungry and then you see me with this perfectly fried crispy fish. Mm. This tartar sauce on him, mm. taking that first bite. Oh. I wouldn't recommend it. Don't do it to him. I wouldn't do it I wouldn't recommend it if you're hungry, but. Now, mm -hmm. did y'all see how the weather changed last night from mm. like hot? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, Houston, Houston weather is something not to play with right now. Tomorrow, tomorrow, watch it be in the high 80s. Right. It'll be real cold in the morning. It was raining too this morning. I had to go catch the bus, but I had to get I had to get to school to get the education. You know what I'm saying? Did you get it? Yeah, definitely. I hope you got it. Because <laughs> guess what? We got a call day. Somebody was tardy. Dang. Probably, I was probably tardy because I was getting my books in a lot of you know that I'm tardy because he was in the hallway at the party. <laughs> Man. Now, how is that Trey just started eating? He got food all over his face already. Oh, already? <laughs> 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 how was y'all day today? My mom had to run some errands. In that cold? In the rain? Um, that's not how you do it. Your cap and gown came in today. Came in? I got a shit. Is it my size? Do you talk with? Right. Okay. Yeah. Cap and gown. Talk about you graduating. Where you got to school? Who is so it? I can get put back in school. <laughs> Not bad. Mm -hmm. Stay dipping sauce. He said, stay dipping sauce. <laughs> dip, baby, dip, baby. Come on, man. What's that? You know how You don't know nothing about that? I don't know nothing about that. Tootsie roll, fool. Tootsie roll. Tootsie roll. Oh, yeah, we need a hot sauce. I don't know nothing about that. Who got, what y'all putting hot sauce on? Oh, oh, come my on. Bed, baby. You put a hot sauce on your fish. Oh, I put ranch on my yeah. girl. Just like you put ranch on everything. You know and that's why I didn't put the ranch out today because I knew I was you was going to soak everything with that with that ranch. I really don't know what to say about you new school brothers. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. don't put hot sauce on your fish, boy? Mm -hmm. No way. I almost feel like I ain't raised you right. <laughs> <laughs> hot sauce 
It's like hot sauce and fish really don't really match. That's almost what? like almost like pineapples on pizza. That's a debatable issue right there. How you gonna say hot sauce don't go on fish? That's a southern thing, baby. I like pineapple pizza. <laughs> pineapple. Now pineapple don't belong on no pizza. I agree, mama. It do. Mom. It do. It does it do. not. The last thing you put fruit on top of um cheese. And me. When you eat a Whopper, what you think a tomato is? <laughs> tomato is Exactly. Yeah. Speaking of Whoppers, that's who don't like Whoppers. Who? Okay. Yeah, you know what's on my Now, Whopper, what y'all think? I hate Whoppers. Out of all of the burger chains that we have here in Houston, my favorite is Whataburger and Burger King. Jack in the Box got to be at the top. Then, then McDonald's, of course. Who doesn't like McDonald's? Then Whataburger. Don't forget about Chick-fil-A. Come on now. <laughs> that's not a burger, burger joint. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Chick Fil A got some bomb chicken. Yeah. Chick Fil A got some bomb chicken. Chick Fil A is in a whole new category. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That customer service is impeccable, and I think that a lot of fast food chains are starting to pick up on the the niceness and the. Uh, McDonald's not. Oh, you know what? Just made that on my sauce, please. Okay. I had drive at Chick Fil A. Did you? I was really, it the old Chick Fil A? I really sure did. Did? Yeah. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but right there, y'all believe me because of my niceness. Mm. Hey, oh. in that case, I'm running for president next week, guys. Wow. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did work at KFC. That's my first job. KFC? We used to fry that chicken. And see, he knows All the right, secrets so. that KFC don't want you to know. But mm -hmm. if he's the way social media works these days, you already know. <laughs> this is the question of the day. You saying that? There. KFC or hearts? <laughs> you tell me. You know what? I think KFC chicken is really fatty. I feel like it's it makes like me too feel much like seasoning. I need to take a shower KFC. after eating. I feel like it's too much seasoning on KFC stuff. Why well, you need to take a shower after anything? You ain't eat right. <laughs> no, I'm no. saying after eating it's so greasy and it makes you feel so bogged down. That's why I don't like it. Now churches. Mm -mm. Not churches. I ain't talking about churches. I'm talking about hearts. Hearts is always gonna be the number one chicken place to me. Churches? I got fish. Churches? No. no hearts. Hearts, hearts, hearts. What about Popeyes? <laughs> Popeyes. No, Popeyes chicken is off. dry. They yeah. didn't fill out big. Nah, nah. They, they biscuits. <laughs> they now, biscuits, them biscuits. <laughs> them biscuits <laughs> will take you to heaven. Okay, oh yeah, whichever one oh, okay, you want. Them biscuits, that's a little ball of sand. That is a little, you need some water, that you need some Kool-Aid or something on, some on the side of them biscuits. Mm -hmm. You need to eat that biscuit with IV. You need to eat that biscuit with some cocoa butter on the side or something. <laughs> but you know, speaking of niceness, I was at HB the other day. Mm -hmm. And I think they're taking on the same thing that Chick-fil-A Chick -fil have for its like customer service. I'm paying for my stuff. And the lady was like, hi, I'm going she said, um, how was your day? I said, it's going good. She said, what you got planned? Have you ever tried to meet somebody else's niceness when they come at you? So, hey, like you just said, you come, they come at you with the hi, and you hit them with the hi. Well, I do that anyway because yeah. I'm already, you know, nice. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> she was asking all these questions, and she was saying, you know what you got planned for the week? And I said, for a minute, I said, she was nice until she got into my business. Asking me all these questions, what I'm doing this week? Are you asking me out? What's going on? <laughs> she, um, you she was sweet. She was very sweet. I'm kind of you go to um, HB all the time. You see her all the time? No. She like the first time, only one. Well, I'm probably seeing them and probably don't, don't ever like pay attention to the person unless I've talked to them multiple times. Talking about niceness. Now, I I heard this this saying killing it with niceness, right? Mm -hmm. Now listen, my bus driver. Is the true definition of killing them. Like, like she's so nice, it's almost annoying. We get on the bus early in the morning. She, hi, don't forget to wipe your badge. I'm in high school. I feel like I'm in kindergarten going to preschool. Oh my God, on this regular, smegler, wonderful, beautiful morning, all that. <laughs> you mean tell me you would rather accept somebody being loud and rude to you I read, I, I, versus so somebody being nice? I know some people are not morning people, okay? And I get it. Now in the morning when I get up, I soon let my husband peek his eye open, baby, and I just go out. <laughs> he be like, baby, okay, I'm just waking up. I'm like, I know, but I have so much to tell you. I've been holding it in for an hour. Eight hours. You got to okay. you got to warm up in the morning. I, I I need to get warmed up to like, I called an Uber and um, the Uber guy was like, it was early in the morning. Uber guy was like, you mind uh, we listen to some music? Oh, I I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Go ahead and put something on. 
It's not like he had two 15s in the trunk. <laughs> Boom, jump so hard. <laughs> 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 I'm like, damn, I mean, I mean, you jamming, but it's 7 o'clock. And he is, but he was, is that Uzi Vert? Nah, look. Who's that? Little Baby. Little Baby, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not good on my, on my uh, hip hop culture. Okay, I'm trying to get that. Who's it? Uzi Baby. <laughs> <laughs> is that Uzi Baby? But I'm trying to find my way. When he said that, I mean, where we had to go was about maybe 30 minutes away. Ooh. And man, the whole time, I he just felt like I needed a 40. First thing you listen to in the morning is... He jammed the whole Lil Baby album. The whole album. And then he went to Drake after that. I was like, mm -hmm. oh. Drop stop. Travis? What is, um... Oh, I thought it was that he and y'all was some. Was he a younger guy? Or he was, was a Hispanic yeah. guy. Yeah. He and y'all was fire then. He and y'all was some straight fire then. Oh, was a biscuit. But he asked, "Do you mind if I put on some music?" And then he put on some music. I'm thinking it's gonna be uh, uh, probably one of four or something. He puts on there. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I mean, he should have seen the age of the people that's getting in the car. Well, a lot of them think just because you're black, they have, you have to put on Urban Station. And the white, the white, the white station. What is the white station? I don't know. Yeah, not a, not a 9.1, and I love it. What's that? Country, uh, country music? No, it's the slow jazz. It's everything. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up. Anybody got a girlfriend? Nope. <laughs> nope. You single? Yep. And ready to mingle. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. To them books? Mingle them books. Yay! Books. books. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm single and ready to mingle. So hit me up. What, what about you over there, Trey? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna, I'm, 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 I'm talking to somebody. Okay. To somebody. okay. okay. Be real about it. Be real about it. Fair part, so far, it's probably the right. Rice and wings. Can't Rice go and wrong. wings. Mm -hmm. You can never go wrong with this like meal. This is always a meal. It's not, it's always this combination. I'm a little serious now. I know we got a uh, lot going on in our country. Mm -hmm. I just want to know what your thoughts were about the 800,000 Government workers who are currently working without pay. I feel like it's messed up. I was there, um, and I'm going to try to come up with something that uh, amongst my community on Facebook and Instagram to find someone who is, you know, probably in need, or you know, if I can probably make a meal or something, you know, whatever I can do to help and lighten the load because, you know, it's a very unfortunate situation that this has happened and this has occurred in our generation, and uh, during this time, it's very sad. And every time I look up on social media, I'm seeing someone's crying or upset about, you know, not being able to pay their bills. They go to work, but they can't get paid. And I think that's totally unfair. And all because of division. He wants a wall to cause more division amongst us. That's not, to me, that's not godly. And, I, you know, and that just really saddens my heart when I see that. Um, my thing here, okay, work that out in a more political way than stopping people from feeding their family. I mean, you came into the thing knowing you wanted this wall. You said they was gonna pay for the wall. Somehow it got mixed up. Now we gotta pay for the wall. Look, don't bully nobody into making people agree with you. I mean, that, that, that's the only thing I'm saying. Yeah. Cause I, I mean, Obama shut down the government too, but that was, you know, due to his uh, health care and all that stuff. I mean, they- A real reason, I mean-, I mean I'm pretty sure they think that's the real reason, but I mean, you just bullying people for to get your way. Why? Well, why you stop us for something you want to do? It's not going to be completed during his term of presidency. How long is it going to take? It's going to be surpassed this time. And trust me, they're going to try to get him out of office next year. Right, this is good. Thank you. This is very good. Obama. Thank you. Thank you. I try to do everything I can to make these right here. Smile. Oh, you do. You do. Uh, you do good job. I'm full. When we do these mukbangs, guys, we want you guys to be invited into our home, invited to this table, feel like you're a part of this family because we plan to expand in so many ways. Um, we're excited about the new endeavors that God has placed in our path. We're excited about 2019 and where it's taking us. I feel like if you believe 2019 can be your year, it's going to be your year. Yeah. Yeah, everyone says next year gonna be my year and next year gonna be my year and if it doesn't work like that then it doesn't work like that but it doesn't have that don't mean you can't say next year's gonna be my year and if you don't want nobody to say that you wishing that don't have a year i don't understand that but this year will be your year if you believe and ne next year me and mama have a surprise for y'all 2020 me and Miranda are expecting our 
Third child. Okay. Pitbull or bully? Baby. Oh, a dog. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Oh, that's a little more believable. I have become an animal lover in the past. Well, me and my husband have been together for 18 years, and I have grown to love animals and all that they offer to this world <laughs> and companionship that they add to your life. And I've had two pets. I've lost them too. Now it's time for a new one. You know, you know what I read? You know what I read though? What? Don't say you love all animals when you still eat animals. Right, but I still like chicken. You know what I say about that? <laughs> I love you. Man. I did try to become a vegan for two weeks. Yeah. And there was nothing wrong with it. It's like we're programmed to like meat only. You can really enjoy food without having meat involved. I don't know, know, know how y'all can do it. Vegans and vegetarians, well, vegetarians too, right? Never eat meat. I don't know how y'all do it at all. Like, this food, and if you're watching it and you're a vegan or a vegetarian, this is a vegan's nightmare right now. <laughs> we are some it's been carnivores. Like, it's been like slap that hot sauce on that picture. You slap that hot sauce on that picture. Let's dab on it. Let's dab on it. I'm going to bite that boy. Well, let, let me get a little bit on there. Let me get a little bit. Slap, 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 slap. Come on now. Let's dab on it too. Dab wow. on it. Wow. Mm. <laughs> mm. Latre, I guess here's the water. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Latre, you fight. Oh, let me join y'all. Oh, so we got, oh, we got a little family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that the bike ride? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is that what we got? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't be serious with them. All the way live. All the way live. It's the Celestine thing. Oh, 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 oh. Give me some. It's the Celestine thing. Whoa, whoa. It's the Celestine thing. Whoa, whoa. It's a Celestine thing. I need to get y'all back in church. You got some church claps. Give me a clap. There's a thing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. It's a Celestine thing. Oh. Oh. oh, that's some good old church claps. <laughs> hey. She already know. She she's the chef. She she got her hands down down, down in the kitchen. Now it's, it's time to, before we can start comparing different foods. I know what I like, and man, she is really trying to get me to like stuff that she like. It's all now, rice right. and gravy for this. Rice right. and gravy. Now listen. I guarantee whoa, you, when he, <laughs> when he met my mom, rice and gravy. Rice and gravy. She had to introduce. Sell us thing. Thanks. She had to introduce him to totally to, 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 to new things. Yeah. Like. What, what, what you introduce him to when y'all I ate this? so much rice as a kid. When we didn't have rice, I thought we was poor. And when my <laughs> friends said they was cooking something and I ain't had rice in their menu, I'm like, man, y'all ain't eating. It's rice, gravy with meat. Different meat every day, but that rice stays the same. And I try not to put too many rice dishes in the week. Like, he'll be like, tomorrow. Okay, now you see we have dirty rice right here. Tomorrow we'll have something and he'll be like, can we have rice with you? I'm like, we had rice yesterday. They don't mean them. That was yeah, yesterday. I'm like, I'm not a, I grew up on rice and I grew up on gravy and my daddy tore it down in the kitchen with the rice and gravy and smothered chicken and smothered steak. I got tired of that. So. I do got a question though for you. Yes. You see all this nice food you prepared for this. Tastes delicious. I wish I could taste it. Um, Where'd you get this from? Like, I always used to ask you as a little kid, I used to be like, Ma, you cook so good. How did you get, where'd you get this from? Now, now that I'm old enough to understand, where did you get this cooking gene from? Because I don't understand Well, it. no. And uh, I can't cook a bowl of noodles. <laughs> no, um, my grandmother, rest her soul, Irma Lee King, was gone on to glory. Um, she was the cook of our family. It's on my daddy's side, my grandmother on my dad's side. And my mom did some dibble and dabbling in the kitchen, but I didn't learn from my mom. Sorry, mom. But I did. I learned from my grandma. She kept us in the kitchen. She kept us watching her rolling out rolls and 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 then because she was a caterer as well so we often you know got a chance to taste her food uh firsthand now when it came to me she didn't take me by the hand and be like Miranda, this is how you make this or this is how you make that i think it's just in my genes to just actually want to just try something out see how it tastes and be good at it so as y'all know i am good at it oh yeah before you ask that question 
let me back though. Not not to call y'all nothing, but no. the uh, the first meal. No. Miranda ever cooked me. I remember like it was yesterday. We was we was so young, so full of life. I'm like, she was like, so babe, what do you want to eat tonight? I said, babe, let's eat us some steak and potatoes. Good, I'm gonna go buy that steak tonight. I'm gonna marinate it overnight. Cook it in the next day. So she bought that steak. She bought some meat tenderizer. Yep. <laughs> she meat soaked tenderizer. that. She soaked that steak and that meat tenderizer so long. Well, I had cotton candy steak. <laughs> <laughs> that steak was so loose and you can just cut it like this, like pudding. Yeah, because as we all know now, that tenderizer is an acid. It really does break down. She tenderized it 24 hours straight. And then we went to Burger King right after because we were yeah. like, we ain't eating this. Yeah, that, that, that steak pudding was something else. That's a thing. But then that was the last time that I ever cooked like that because I started watching Food Network a lot. Uh, Emerald Lagasse, Paula Dean, Rachel Ray, those were my three ride or dies. Yeah, I, I watched old. them faithfully and that's how I got my culinary cooking, cooking skills. See, with me though, I can cook somewhat, but I just, you know, you know, you seen me cook a couple times. I can cook a sloppy job. I can make some. Uh, oh, I put it in now. Yeah, I put yeah. it in. I put, it, I, I, can make I some, put the fear of cooking in. I can make okay, some macaroni God. and cheese. I can make some spaghetti. It's this one. That need yeah, to get in the kitchen. It's really this one. I ain't gonna catch it. Get up in so kitchen. I can cook some eggs. Trey can cook some eggs. We can't make a bowl of cereal. We came home <laughs> one night, about three in the morning, and I walked into a cloud of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> that boy made us some pancakes. Hungry. He made some pancakes. Man, I was hungry. Burn pancakes and crispy eggs. Boy. <laughs> it took him a while to make them too, because he yeah. told me he told me at twelve something he was making them pancakes. Came home with a smoke. Man, two hours making pancakes. <laughs> two hours making pancakes. I can't believe when y'all move together. Y'all move together? No, I don't know where what? she got that from. They ain't moving together. Man, you know, together? let me tell you something. 18th birthday, I'm out of here. No, I'm just playing. Y'all boys already remind me of the Wayne and Rain, bro. Wait, we got it on tape. We got it on tape. We're moving out of 18. No, I'm not 18. moving out. I'm not moving out 18 or 18th birthday. Like, not as it's on tape. I'm not moving out my 18th birthday. I'll give it a little time. I'm going to go off to college. When I come back, I'm gonna get my life settled. I might stay here for a little bit while I get my life settled. By 20, 21, I'm gonna be out of here. That's all it is to it. Well, 20, more like 25. Come back from anyway. Oh, well, well, by 20, 23, I'm gonna be out of here. Hey, what's your plans? Because you know what? You up and down. Some days you wanna stay, some days you wanna leave. I don't know. Tell tell me what the plan is. Tell, what, what you got? tell the family and tell your family. What you, what you got planned, boy? Are you really finna get out there on them streets? Or are you, you gonna learn? You gonna learn? Uh, extra mile. Yeah. You tell me and I'll tell you your answer, my brother. Amen. Well, if you're still Amen. undecided, don't let us put the pressure on you. Nah, but I'm you got like five months until graduation. Enjoy again, check on. It's a salad thing. thing. Whoa, whoa. It's a salad thing. <laughs> Come on, the man, Trey. Come on, the man. Come on, the man. Come on, the man. Every time we drop a new. And we can read you, baby. I like that. 